Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm about to show you how I created this design. So quick disclaimer, don't pay attention to my nail, my thumbnail, it looks crazy. I know I used a little bit of white on the tip of it just to see if it was the right white to use for this particular design that I was doing. Um, so anyways, besides that, um, after I prepped the nails, I went ahead in with the gel polish that I wanted to use as the base for this design. Um, for this set, I only did one layer. I didn't do two layers. And make sure you get the free edge too. I don't know if you caught me doing that in the beginning, but you definitely want to make sure you um, get the free edge so it doesn't look crazy. So once I do the first layer, the only layer of the base, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. Um, and just so you know, I will leave all of the details of the products that I used in this video down below in the description box. Okay, so now that those have cured for 60 seconds, what I'm doing is I am now going in with my no wipe gel top coat and I am doing that on all of the nails and this is an important step you do not want to skip. So once you apply the top coat, go ahead and cure them for 60 seconds. And I'm just creating some abstract lines here with my um, white gel polish. So I'm going to do that on all of the nails. And then once I do, I'm not going to cure them for 60 seconds, but I'm going to cure them for 30 seconds. And the reason behind that is to leave a little bit of a tackier layer for the pigment powders to stick to. I mean, if you do it for 60 seconds, it'll probably still stay, but it might not pick up as much pigment as you want. So I would definitely recommend just doing 30 seconds if you can. Okay, so now that that's cured for 30 seconds, um, I'm just going in with this dense little brush that I had in my stash. I'm not sure what kind of brush it's called, but I'm gonna try and find out what kind of brush it is, but it worked really well. Um, I'm just going in, picking up some powder and just literally, I mean, dabbing it on top of the gel. I would definitely say though, make sure that you're using like colors that go together because if you try and use like, um, for instance, like that yellow, that bright yellow and maybe like a blue, it's not gonna blend as well. You get what I'm saying? So definitely um, use colors that kind of 
you know, meld into each other. Colors that you would kind of see next to each other anyways. If that makes sense. I don't know. But um, I definitely recommend using like a paper towel or something that you can easily dispose of after you're done with this process because it is a mess, as you can see. It gets all over the place and maybe I'm a little heavy handed with the powder. I probably could have made less of a mess if I tried, but that's just not how I am. So it is what it is. But cleanup was easy because I had paper towels, so I just kind of balled it up and threw it away. So it's all good. All right, so now I'm going in with my big old duster brush and I'm just dusting all the excess dust off. And I'm about to go in with my striper brush with some black gel polish. Um, I just kind of chose to do black because I just thought, you know, the contrast would be nice and it would look good together, you know what I mean? And it does, and I like it, so that's why I did it. So yeah. And then after that, I went ahead and cured it for 60 seconds. 60 seconds, y'all. Y'all, my nails look crazy. I promise they don't always look this rough. Like this set right here did my nails in. I probably should have wore some gloves, but I don't know. I just feel like gloves get in the way for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll try some smaller gloves because I see a lot of these other people like nail people use gloves and I'm like, are they just doing that because they want to make it seem a certain way or do they actually use the gloves? Because anytime I've tried to use gloves, they just get in the way I don't know so I did try a matte top coat I didn't like it as much as I like the shiny top coat so that's what I'm doing now I'm going in with um, a no wipe gel top coat and I'm I'm gonna do that on all of the nails and then of course <laughs> cure it for 60 seconds and that's pretty much it you're pretty much done after this step so unless you wanted to add like some bling or something, which that would probably look cute, but I was over it at this point. I also wanted to say, if y'all do decide to recreate this set, make sure y'all tag me and shout me out so I can see. And I also wanted to say that even though I'm using pigmented, pigmented colors here, if you don't have pigmented colors, but you have colored acrylic powders, you can also use those as well. They might not be as pigmented, but if you don't wanna buy pigmented colors, you can easily use um, acrylic powder because the blue pot right there is acrylic powder and it works just fine. So, all right guys, that's the final look. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.